Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. First, I thank all those people who like my previous videos and subscribe to my channel. If you haven't subscribed as of yet, you can just go down and click the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get notified on my latest videos. So for today's video, my topic is my five favorite Indian films of the last decade. So now it's impossible to rank these films. So I've just listed them chronologically according to the year of their release. So without further ado, let's start the list. Number one on my list is Bhuter Bhavishyat. This Bengali film directed by Onik Dotto is, in my opinion, undoubtedly the best Bengali film of the last decade. It's also one of the wittiest and cleverest films ever made in the history of Indian cinema. It is a horror comedy and it tells the story of a group of ghosts who live in this uh, sort of like an old bungalow. And the bungalow is soon going to be renovated into a shopping mall. And so they try to uh, scare off these uh, sellers who are trying to sell their house. It's a great film, it's a very witty social satire and it has an amazing ensemble cast which includes some of the best actors currently working in Bengali cinema like Swastika Mukherjee, Poran Bandhapadhyay and Shashwatu Chatterjee. The second film on my list is Ship of Theseus. Directed by Anand Gandhi, this is possibly the most philosophical film ever made in the history of Indian cinema. It is sort of like an anthology film and tells three different stories. The stories of an experimental photographer, an ailing monk and a young stockbroker. And all of these stories explore the common themes of the meaning of life and death and the ship of Theseus paradox, which is sort of like a paradox created by the Greek philosopher Plato. It's an amazing film, but again, it's a very slow film and it's not for everyone. But for people who like, you know, really art house films, uh, really thoughtful films, they must check out Ship of Theseus. The third film on my list is The Lunchbox. Now, Lunchbox, directed by Ritesh Batra, in my opinion, is the best Bollywood film ever made. It, of course, tells the story of an unusual bond which forms between um, an aging widower and a young wife uh, through several letters. It's an amazing film and one of the main reasons the film works so well is the amazing lead cast which includes of course Nirmat Kaur, Nawazuddin Siddiqui and the legendary Irfan Khan who gives the best acting performance of his career. The film is one of the most beautiful films ever made. It kind of feels like a Wonkar Wai film made in India. It is amazing. If you haven't watched it, please check it out. You won't be disappointed. The fourth film on my list is Super Deluxe. Super Deluxe is my all-time favorite Tamil film. It is of course directed by the legendary filmmaker Thiagarajan Kumararaja and it is sort of like a dark comedy and it tells four different stories, all of which sort of intertwine and take place on one fateful day. This film is amazing. It is quirky, it is hilarious, it has I think one of the best cinematographies I have ever seen in recent times. Like the film is visual, the film is a visual delight. The color palette is just beautiful, and also uh, these stories, the four stories of this film, they you know contain elements of um, death, life, the meaning of religion, etc. So it's a very thought-provoking film, and at the same time, it's extremely entertaining. The stories, of course, consist of dead bodies, a transvestite, and even aliens. So this is a pretty offbeat film, as you have already guessed, but I think it's still a crowd pleaser. And also it has some amazing acting performances, particularly from Vijay Setupatti, who plays the role of a transvestite named Shilpa. He even won a national award for his amazing and restrained acting performance. And finally, the fifth film on my list is Jalikattu. This Malayalam film is often considered to be one of the best modern indie films made in India. It is truly amazing. The film is of course directed by the great filmmaker Lijo Jos Pelisri and it tells the story of a small village in Kerala where a buffalo escapes from a butcher and you know this causes complete mayhem in the village. It, the film is a sort of like a chaotic experience you know as we see every single person in the village tried to catch the buffalo and in the process of trying to catch the buffalo 
they show their inner demons. You know, it turns out that the human beings who live in the village are far more dangerous than the so-called beast. It's an amazing film. It's a very thought-provoking film with one of the best movie endings I have seen in recent times. I won't spoil it for you. Check it out and find out yourself. Anyways, guys, that was the video. Thanks for watching. If you like my channel, do like, share, and subscribe. You can also add down your thoughts in the comment section below. So thank you. Bye bye. I'll meet you next week.